Sir. What's up? Hey. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How about you guys? Going all right. Pretty good. Are you guys going crazy or are you guys finding, how should I, how should I entertain myself during this uh, golf experience? <laughs> golf? Where? Everywhere. It's open. Yeah. It's open everywhere. I promise you. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm golfing. Now. Say less. As I'm going call. fishing after this. I, I've seen a lot of kids going fishing. I saw, um, I guess it was Gage Gunderson and Greg Kite the other day. Yeah. I was walking my dog, <laughs> and um, they just come up walking with fishing poles down this random road in the neighborhood. And they had just parked on the street because they knew of a fishing place just off of the road. Yeah. And apparently, and kind of weird, all this interaction with them all of a sudden, Baby Brooks had his six-month checkup today, and yeah. he saw – Bennett's mom in it was one of the nurses at the pediatrician, Bennett Lloyd's. Yeah. And then he got like referred to the specialist and he goes over there and Gage Gunderson's mom is looking after him. <laughs> Dang. So Cobes, how you doing? Cobes, how are you entertaining yourself during all this? What? Gotta put the work in, coach. You're putting the work in? Of course. You're talking about like schoolwork or are you like working out and stuff? Everything. Everything. I, that you know what, Kobe? That doesn't surprise me. Sure. The things that surprise me, Kobe and UK putting the work in is not one of them. Yeah. yeah. Do you play golf, Kobe? I wish, but I don't have like the patience to watch it go in. Kobe, if I had to picture you playing golf, it would be you going to the driving range and probably hitting balls until your hands turned like all blistered up and everything. Yeah, something like that. And shanking it, and probably getting frustrated, but keep on keeping on doing it just because. I would definitely be good at golf. You'd be good at it. Well, I, you know, you got you got uh, shorter limbs and shorter stature, so I oh think like gosh. that would certainly help. There'd be less moving parts. I'm like six two now. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. Man, you have that ca you have that camera angled really high then. <laughs> There you go. Right. Yeah, I'll be like six five by the time we come back. <laughs> Windsor, how about you? Um I'm wanting to get out and play some golf. Just gotta find someone who actually wants to play it. Windsor, we've hit balls before. Anto, I got you. I got you. I'll play whenever. I've Nothing better to do. Um, okay, I'm going to pause the recording here for a second. <laughs> Play <my favorite. laughs> that one day where you got when you guys had the uh, sophomore, sophomore retreat. retreat. Oh, <laughs> wait, I believe that. I'm it was the last period. Where'd you go? go? All right, so Kobe, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you figure this out. Uh, what I while Kobe's figuring that out, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at um, um, some of those multiple choice questions as you guys wrapped up, that is going to be your unit one quiz grade. We will have a unit one test grade as well, you know, cause why the heck not? We've got, uh, you know, a month and a half until we have to take this test. So um, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and look at that. So um, we can, I think we can just do this on my shared screen. I think that that will be fine. Um, so I'll pull up that AP classroom and we can look, we can look at that stuff. So, um, let's see here. Probably 300 bench. <laughs> All right. So let's see. 
It was unit two um, MCQ, right? Yeah. That, that's what you guys did, not unit one. Uh, that's not what I want. I want to look at y'all's answers. Chris Walker, that was hard. Yeah. Well, I, I thought I did well, but. There's some questions that really, like, tricked us up that, like, we never talked about. Like, you know what I mean? Um, actual. Hey, that's just, it's, it's, you know, unfortunately, it's going to be the nature of the beast. I think you may think we didn't talk about it. And, and, and some of them, you know, honest to goodness, we might not have. Uh, but there are, um, I think they're related uh, close enough. I mean, there's a reason why um, the average grade for the AP macro exam is a 55, right? 55%, oh. um, which is also a three, okay? So that is a three. It's these are, these are five percent on the exam you could be getting college credit, okay? So, um, you know, that, that, that's, the, that's the truth about it. So, you know, the questions may appear hard, but at least you're getting exposure to them now. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, but these are our quiz grades, you know? <laughs> What's that? These are the, like our, our actual grades, though. It's not like the... Oh, for this? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. We'll see. I mean, yeah. like I said, I'm a lot of things, but I'm also pretty fair. I don't know what y'all are complaining about. Ooh. The 12 out of 21 is fine. Penny, what the heck? You got a 12, Scotch? <laughs> All right, so. Um, so what we'll originally did not start. <laughs> What we'll do is we'll look at, I want to see the results. And so there was unit one. That was the one where we kind of got our feet wet with this. I want to see unit two. All right, so how do you guys do this? <laughs> Stas. So most of you guys, most of you guys got in the five range. Oh, that's a five? Yeah, I mean, most of you guys got in that range. Stask is in the four range. I got it, sir, I got a seven. Oh, all right, well, that doesn't make me feel as bad. But you probably, Stas, I'd, I'd say that's probably closer to the, to the three range. Ooh. That's what I would say. Oh, well, I mean, like, look at Andrew Murphy over there, like, it even started. True, true. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, so. So let's just let's let's. Uh, you guys are gonna like this because you'll be able to see who got questions wrong. So we can just oh. we can just oh. talk pile on Stas on like every question. <laughs> Opportunity cost. Come on, Stuce. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, so we, what I want to do is we're going we're to look at this by question. And I know that there are questions where maybe one person got them, one person got it wrong. Um, you know, if it was you, you're more than welcome to go back and look at that, Kobe on UK. Okay. Yeah, I figured it out. Um, but if, if you, um, I'd like to focus on the one, or ones like this where close to half of you, uh, at, least, at least three people got them wrong. Okay, because those are the things that I think are worth talking about. We can pick the brain of the people that got it right and, and discuss, you know, what they did, you know, how they <laughs> thought about it, and we can make ourselves better in that way. Okay, so uh, with this one, this one is a uh, GDP question. Um, what's in GDP? What's included? What's not included? Um, and I see what you guys, and I looked at some of these, and I saw what you guys were saying about, like, Hey, I'm not so sure we talked about this. I'm not so sure we talked about that. But even with that, I think we, we, with most of these or virtually all of them, we talk about enough to where you should be able to figure it out. Okay, there's a reason that on a question where if we didn't talk about it at all, 25% of you should be getting it right. 
that that for that that most people are actually getting it right. So they they thought about something. Let's figure out what that was. Um, so with this question, which of the following is true about gross domestic product? All right. Um, so uh, the three people who got it wrong, my guess is Stas is in this group. We'll see. Yeah, of course. Okay, and we can throw Kobe in there. Oh my! Yeah, can throw Michael Morris. <laughs> Mike the third. Mike the third. Huh? Go ahead. Stas is getting pissed. What's what's wrong, Stas? Two smartest guys in the class got it wrong. So did I. So I'm technically with the smart. Hey. If you think. About hey. It. Uh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, Woods. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so let's let's take a look. So um, those of you guys who remember this question, why um, why why did you guys uh, go with E instead of B? What 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 might we look for there that uh, that might tell us what the answer is? Well, I just look like in the definition of GDP, yeah. it doesn't say sold. It, says it just produced. says final. Yeah. I remember us talking about that specifically in class of what happens if it's produced in one year and sold in another. Yeah, we did. We, did, we spent some time talking about that, I think. Um, and so, you know, maybe we should have spent more time talking about it. But it, you know, for this, it doesn't, it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter whether it's sold. In fact, we talked about, um, I think we, we determined, right, that, um, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but if a good is produced, in 1996 and sold in year 2000, it would count towards GDP win. 1996. It would count towards 96 GDP. So being sold is not an indication, uh, or it does not mean that it's, uh, you know, GDP counts towards that uh, year's GDP. And it doesn't account for like, or like I feel like the environmental effect doesn't really matter. Yeah, and that's that's another thing that should probably have been a red flag for you, okay, is that it gets into, we talked a little bit about the environment, but that was way, 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 way after this, we were discussing GDP. So that should have been another uh, red flag in terms of um, not, at least not selecting B. You good with that, Cobes? Yeah. All right. Uh, I think the next one was a problem as well, yep. Do we want to see who got it wrong? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, gang, I got that wrong. Child care at home. I wonder who said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Winsor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Smart oh, wins the, the great. What are you thinking? <laughs> Weird. Uh, okay, so man, I, if that's the case, then I'd be I'd be really contributing to GDP. Let's see. Uh, so, so what's um, what's your just so uh, D is the correct answer, but why, why that? Somebody want to give it a shot? Because it's government spending. No, I'm not. It? I mean, yeah, probably. That's one way to think about it. Yeah. But just because a disaster has happened, right? Um, you know, you got to pay, you know, that isn't a used service. Uh, it doesn't, you know, the, an oil spill isn't good for the economy at all. Remember, we talked about that broken window fallacy, but even the whole basis for that fallacy is that if you break a window, right, if you break a window, um, it's, it's good for the economy because that means that you can put money into uh, fixing the window and contribute to GDP in that way. That technically that's true, uh, but not necessarily good for the economy. D is our answer there. Who did the, who did this one? Oh, Rick. Wait. So I got that one right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Stuce. One of your twelve. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, boy. Are you okay? Okay, so let's let's go back. Oops. All right, so we'll look at this one.
Do you guys have access to all this? Um, yeah. yeah. But you don't get to see how other kids did. You just get to see how yeah. you did. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I know I got this. Oh, oh dang. No. no, I got this one right. I got this one. All right. So. Oh yeah. Me, I, I hate that. I hated. Yeah, this. that one was crazy. I because think you I had to it read too. it like four times to make sure you understood what it was saying. Did you guys notice the same thing? Yeah, it was yes. so difficult. Okay, so it's the question was Jan's work uh, works a thirty hour week for minimum wage um, for minimum wage of ten dollars an hour. Suppose that last year is the base year for the consumer price index. Um, which of the following is true about Jan's wage at the end of this year? If the CPI, uh, if the end of this of this year, the CPI is one twenty five. See what I mean? Like it's just it's it's just kind of an awkward sentence. I feel like, <clears throat> but it's all about it's all about reading it right. You gotta you gotta read it correctly, and you gotta take your time and make sure that you've got it. So um, let's see, let's see who messed it up. Ah. Dang. Bo, I feel like you've missed a lot of these in the early goings. <laughs> I got a 17. <laughs> Are C and E the same thing? C and E? No. No, oh, lower. It is 25% lower. Okay, so so we first of all, we got to figure out what this question's asking. So first of all, he um, is this what Jane currently makes, or is is it what Jan made last year? Yeah, I had no idea. Uh, it's her current. It's it's current. Okay, yeah. so you know this is all this. He's uh, Jan is making ten dollars an hour now. So suppose and and so if and the other and so and then it goes back to last year. It's saying suppose last year is the base year. And so what do we know about last year's CPI right off the bat? One hundred. It's got to be one hundred, right? So then the rest of it really shouldn't trip us up. Which of the following is true about Jan's real wage at the end of the year, if at the end of this year, uh, the CPI is 125. So it's 125 this year. Um, you're, you're right to say, I mean, so, so, so with this, what we should determine, if that is he making $10 an hour this year, he's making um, he's, he's going to be making less um, the year prior, okay? Approximately how much less? <clears throat> Wait, it's asking for his wage last year? Hmm? It's, it's saying for um, his, it's, well, so it's essentially because it's asking for the real wage. So if we're using if we're using that previous year as the base year, we want to talk about we want to talk about his wage this year in terms of last year. So, in terms if if CPI is one twenty five, we're in, and we're inflated by about twenty percent. We've got to we we want to talk about it in terms of last year. Um, we've got to reduce this by twenty as well. Uh, by about twenty percent, so that would be, that counts for the eight dollars per hour, and and this is the way they tell you to figure it, um, and this is why I like this is because you can get the feedback, uh, nominal wage over CPI in the hundredths, um, you know, and, and and so they go about it that way, and this is, they even tell you why it's incorrect. CPA CPI measures uh, price level. The CPI increases while Jen's hourly wages remain the same. Okay, so his real wage is not 25% higher because the CPI, or because it's actually the opposite, is not 25% um, higher because the CPI went from 100 to 125. If the CPI was the same each year, then yes, 25% would be the correct answer. It, it, it's wording of the questions, and it could be can be wording of the answers. Sometimes you just got to be careful. I'd like to go through a couple more of these. We'll see. Let's let's try to get on the ones where you guys uh, screwed the pooch. So we'll do we'll do this one, and we'll do 
uh, real GDP on the next one, and then we should be we should be done. If there's time, we'll look at number fourteen. Yeah. Last year, Myron, I missed an opportunity on that one. I should have named my son Myron. Um, Myron purchased. <laughs> What, Kobe? Myron Walker. Myron, yeah. Got a nice ring to it. It would. Hold on a second. I just want to do something real quick. I'm thinking about it. Okay. There you go, Kobe. What? <laughs> Myron. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a good – hey, that's a good running back name, I feel like. Like, that would be – I mean, you're not going to tackle a Myron very easily. Yeah. I don't feel like. Um, all right, so let's see. Last year, Myron purchases a $100 or $10,000 uh, certificate of, the de of deposit at with a 3% rate interest from the bank. So I think at, at face value, I can see why – these guys messed it up. Ooh. Okay. What do you guys seeing that you got it wrong and seeing what the correct answer is? Do you see what you did? Yeah, I thought Myron was the lender the package, right? The right. Yeah, you gotta yeah. read the question carefully. Myron in this case is the what? The lender. The lender. Oh, He's he is the, the lender. lender. A certificate of deposit is is lending to the bank, um, and they're the borrower in that case. That's, that's so, like, I, you know, this is a clear case of what, inflation or deflation? Deflation. Of, of deflation, right? So, um, in that case, the lender loses. The lender is Myron. No, I thought Myron's the borrower. Ah, my mistake. Uh, in that case, the, the, the lender gains and the bank loses. The lender, the lender being Myron and the borrower being the bank, they're going to lose in, in periods of deflation. Good? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. Um, let's do let's do this guy. Oh. And I haven't looked at this one yet, so I might be figuring it out along with you. So okay. Ah, and, and, and we did not talk about this as much as we should have. Um, that I can tell you. Um, but we, we did talk about it. So um, I think it was module 14 or 15, one of those. Uh, we were talking about, um, um, suppose Miguel wants to know the value of real domestic product uh, for 2011 in terms of the base year. Um, 1984 dollars. So he wants to know what he's making in terms of 1984 dollars. The whole thing about the deflator is uh, the deflator removes inflation from the equation. Okay, so that's going to be particularly useful for Miguel in figuring out what his 2011 dollars are in terms of 1984. Um, let's see, let's see who messed it up. Bo, man. Bo again. I got the last one right, I will say. Don't even look like we know that. Random 20 billion. Stops. <laughs> okay, so, um, so with this one, uh, what you're going to want to do, uh, the GDP deflator, it's, it's just about knowing the formula. The formula is illustrated down here. Um, all you got to do, so real GDP um, can be calculated if you remove, um, you remove inflation. If you, re if you implement the GDP deflator on nominal in G GDP. So think about uh, real GDP as like a balloon or excuse me, as, as a deflated balloon, right? A balloon without any air in it. Think about nominal GDP as an inflated balloon. What does that make the deflator? The pin. That makes the deflator the pin. 
Okay, so you need the pin to deflate it and figure out what the hell is going on with that 2011 income. So if you, so what two numbers are you dividing? You're gonna divide, um, you're gonna divide 15 billion. Remember 15 billion is um, nominal oh, GDP. Um, why don't you use 10? Why don't you use the 1984? Because that's already been deflated, right? Or yeah, that's that's the deflated. yeah that's already been deflated. We've got to deflate that 2011 figure. Yeah. So you don't even need the ten at all. No. That yeah, that's why. I've seen the ten. Right. Um, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so you would use the ten as like a frame of reference because the whole point Miguel is doing this is he wants to compare. He wants to compare income from 2000, or 1984 to, to uh, 2011. So he would use that as a frame of reference. But in terms of figuring out the answer to this problem, no. Okay? GDP deflator. So you're, you, divide, you divide 15 billion by 200, and what's the answer? 7.5. Okay. GDP deflator. Um, we've got a couple more minutes. Let's just go ahead and I think there was one more three or maybe there was a two, uh, there was a two, uh, somebody, one question where two people got it wrong. I got a better idea. Let's look at the, one of these, let's look at one of these one person ones and in a, in, in, uh, who wants to bet money that it's Stas. <laughs> I I bet ten dollars. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, I, that's all I want to do. We don't even need to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys good? Yeah. All right, so um, I had assigned an FRQ thinking that we would have time to complete it, uh, at least partially in class. We don't. Um, so what I want you guys to do over spring break is one, to stay safe. And two, I would like you to um, complete unit three in the ACDC econ. All right. Over the break. All right. Questions? Okay. All right, if you guys can go. All right. Thank you. See ya. Hey. Have a good one. All right.